Hey, party people, Greg Koch here. NAMM Show 2012 here on Wildwood Vision. Letting the good times roll at the Premier Builders Guild. I'm going to call it a coven of doom because it is a collection of guitar builders, amp builders that are in league with the forces of good because I've just played one guitar and one amp after another, all with their own intrinsic deliciousness. And now another one. Not, but to say another one is not even to do justice because what I've been playing right here is a magnificent specimen. Gene Baker, how the heck are you? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm sorry. I've got to get this microphone handling thing down. I'm a little, little lame. Anyways, Gene, tell us a little bit about your history. I know Robin Ford was playing your guitars, and, and you worked for Fender years ago, and now you're doing your own guitars, and there's a, a variety of different specimens. And I, I asked you if there was one guitar that would really be your flagship one, it would be this one, but you've got some other cool creations. Why don't you tell us a little bit about where you're at, what you're doing, and what's happening? I like to do a variety of things. Um, like we have our new model here in the middle of the earth, which is our first bolt-on. It's actually now our lowest price guitar, like 1995 retail. Um, then, you know, I like to be different. So we also have the neck throughs being the Phoenix model, top and bottom. We got a tremolo on top, uh, the hard tail on bottom. Um, those are, you know, actually single pieces of wood, head to tail. We got a, those are all uh, offered in a lacquer finish. Um, then we get over to our more set neck line, which is a, uh, kind of always been what I've been best known for. We have the solid body down here on the bottom. We have a semi hollow here on in the middle and then he's got the my baby right there with you know with the sound hole. And we also have a water model that's not at the show but it's got the carved back on it and double sound holes and uh, kind of chasing the 335 kind of vibe. But um I like variety. So variety isn't wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just noodle a little bit about on this guitar. It's got a cool coil tap feature on it which allows you to go to from a really usable single coil sound to a, a viscous but not overly viscous lead sound so that there, there's parity between the two modes which is the big deal when trying to do coil tapping very true yeah I, i'm a humbucker guy but i can't live without a single coil tone especially for rhythmic activity all right well, if you wouldn't mind holding this mic i'll noodle around a little bit beautiful rip it up Sorry, the noise police came in there in the midst of my little guitar rampage. Yes, mine Fuhrer. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what? What a magnificent instrument, Gene. Thank you so much for taking some time with us, and we will see you sooner than later somewhere on the Highway of Doom. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Come!